This uh, young leadership training started uh, about two years ago and uh, we thought that uh, it is good really to, to start the concept with young people. So, because we believe, I can believe that uh, um, to have a very meaningful uh, young um, leadership training and projects related to young people it is best that uh, they are engaged at the concept stage. And we did just that. We consulted them, and there were like three or four focus group discussions that we did in Jakarta. And uh, coming from different, uh, you know, young people from different organizations. And um, they made a lot of suggestions. And on the basis of their recommendations and suggestions, we finally put into to frame the the proposal to Ford Foundation. Hamba hamba. Kita akan lebih mengerikan. Kita ulang lagi satu dua tiga. Hamba hamba. I can't become a mom long-standing uh, grantees of Ford Foundation, starting with a project called uh, Development, uh, Organization of Development Management, and then uh, have a successful uh, program. And now Ford Foundation uh, support the Young Visionary Leaders Program, which support uh, young leaders to be very equipped with the um, knowledge and also uh, how to become a leader in their community. For Foundation, uh, in line with uh, its vision and mission, it's uh, try to get uh, young leaders as a, a potential uh, future leaders and ICOM is the one organization who will give the support to the young leaders and give them uh, better knowledge uh, become a leader. So, when you go back to your respective organization, because you know that you are a leader, you have the leader traits, you must find a partner that is also a manager trait. Because both of you will just work perfectly well. What do we have in this in this project? It's mainly, uh, you know, we, we select uh, leaders, meaning to say these young people are already a step ahead of the other young people. And um, we select them to a vetting process to attend our leadership training. And this is a five-day leadership training. And what is really very wonderful about the training is the fact that it uses also a, uh, you know, an, a long distance or an online learning. and. Um, after this online training, then uh, they proceed to the actual training. So it offers a lot of uh, you know learning opportunity for young people and taking advantage also of the current uh, taking advantage of the current uh, <coughs> technology available. We have the Facebook, we have uh, the YouTube, and there are several materials there, and that we are actually connecting with them through, through this uh, modality. Then um, we expect that after the five-day leadership training, the young people will be able to 
develop their own action plan, addressing the key needs of the young people. And on the basis of this action plan, ICOMP will also support them. Uh, um, support them financially, but uh, more importantly, we also support them in terms of what are the what are the leadership skills that they will need so that they will be able to uh, implement the program that they have uh, developed. And uh, this will be through a mentoring process. So in a way, um, the young people after the leadership training will be matched with the uh, mentors, uh, depending on the skills that they would need but also making sure that those skills are also aligned on how they would be able to implement their action plan. We are now ready to have our break. So thank you very much. Let's have a round of applause. The greatest challenge for participants is when they go home and implement the programs. Um, they will be surely facing a lot of, uh, say, probably comments or whatever, or support problems from other sectors. But I think they have to really just move on, believe or that they can make change make change in this world and boost the young people to better future. You know, uh, I've been involved in many training. I've been invited to be a trainer in so many training. The important is actually the follow-up. So it's not just uh, this training and then we forget. But the follow-up is really important so that we, we, we know whether it's really um, benefited to the local people. Hi there, my name is Olansky. I'm from Support Group Arizona Center for Social Studies, University of Indonesia. Now I would like to say thank you. I would like to express our gratitude to ICOM for letting us be heard here in this training for five awesome days with a lot of awesome leaders from all over Indonesia. We would like to say that we really love this event. We will really look forward for the next event, this kind of event from ICOM next year with a lot of more people here and a lot of more organization and delegation. Thank you a lot. Bye. 